Hey everybody, welcome to Makeup Tip Monday. Today's really exciting because I'm getting my Botox done live. Exciting! And um, a couple weeks ago, I did a video on how to look 10 years younger in one week. And some of the topics that we talked about were, of course, Botox. We also talked about skin exfoliation, uh, microdermabrasion, chemical peels. We talked about updating your haircut. <laughs> Just some simple things that you can do to look younger. And this year, I'm approaching a huge year um, birthday wise and it was my first time starting to get Botox done and after my first treatment I became addicted because I couldn't stop looking at my forehead. <laughs> I mean I would look at my in the mirror and I would just tell Stafford I'm addicted I'm never going without Botox again and then it wore off, it wore off probably Rachel about two weeks ago uh, and I started to see the lines in my forehead again and I was like <gasps> time to go in and so <laughs> After I did my first Botox treatment, many of you were asking some questions because you're nervous or you um, wanted to do it, but maybe you were concerned about the cost and you were just like me and you were just scared of the needles and you thought about it for sometimes years before you actually do it. Well, I'm just going to encourage yeah. you to go ahead and do it. And Rachel is nice enough to go live with me today on my appointment. So I'm going to get my Botox done live. Hey everybody, welcome. And um, so what I thought we'd do is go through some of your questions that you submitted over the last couple weeks before we do the treatment. Um, and first of all, let me introduce Rachel. She's my Botox lady. Would you take a minute and just tell everybody who you are and um, we're at Allure Day Spa, of course, or Medi Spa, and give us a rundown on exactly what Botox is. Sure. My name is Rachel Depart. I'm a um, certified nurse midwife, but also a registered, um, advanced registered nurse, so ARNP. And I've been doing this for about seven years, um, been doing Botox injections, midwife for a much longer time. And um, Allure has been open for seven years. So um, Botox is in a class of medications called neurotoxins. There are also three, two others, one's called Xeomin and one's called Dysport. They all work pretty much the same way. Botox has just been around longer. Um, they usually last for three to five months. Um, the Botox tends to start working about five to seven days, okay. um, whereas Xeomin and Dysport work a little quicker, um, usually around three days. So, um, but they all last anywhere between three to five months. Everybody's a little different in how long they last. Um, the risk involved are that you get bruises. Um, well, that happens uh, not commonly, but more often around the eyes because we have a lot of veins around there. Um, you can get some bruising, you can get an infection because it is a little needle. It's a little tiny insulin needle, so it isn't that scary. Um, but, um, and then uh, the other is that you could get botulism, and that is like the big thing that everybody fears, but that is incredibly rare. And especially if you were to you know, use, go to a reputable place that buys their medication from the actual companies that sell it. So that's one of the. Um, what does botulism mean? Botulism is a bacteria that okay. is in, um, can be in food that is improperly stored and um, it causes paralysis, okay. um, which is why we're using the neurotoxin. We want to cause, and the paralysis is a big word, but basically we're trying to relax the muscles so that they cannot do what they're, um, what, what they're doing to make a wrinkle. So it works, the, the medication goes into the nerve, or goes into the, excuse me, the muscle fibers and blocks the neuro pathway from the brain sending your muscle a, a signal, signal to, to move. Flex, right? Yeah, to okay. flex and um, the neurotoxin's on the end of there and it can't hear it. So it just doesn't move. Right, so that's why when I try to like go like this, like that, after I've had it done, I can't. Exactly. Just, I love it. I like it. <laughs> <laughs> Over time, those muscles yeah. will get weaker, okay. and not because there's anything wrong with them, just like if you didn't work out and you had good biceps and you didn't work out, your biceps would go away. So the muscles become weaker, and often you can't don't have to get the medication as often, or um, you just don't need as much. So that can happen after about a year, year and a half of using it pretty much consistently. And I guess that's why they say it's preventative. Yes. Because if you're weakening the muscle and you can't show expression for longer periods, right. then the muscle becomes weak. Right. And I'm sure they would be surprised to find out that what the number one demographic for Botox is. 
at this point is around the age 25. Yeah, yeah. isn't that something? Yeah, yeah. you know, yeah. us older gals, <laughs> like over the age of 40, it's like we're so scared of doing it when all the young girls are doing it. They, they have a pretty significant clientele oh, that right. come in already. <laughs> yeah. They're like, yeah, do uh, it. Oh, yeah. it right now. Well, and when I forgot it the first time, my sister-in-law said, you haven't done it before? You know, <laughs> she's like at least 10 years younger than yeah. me. So. Yeah. Um, so tell me about when people actually have the drooping or something like that. What is what is that cause by? It, and is that very um, likely? It is not very likely, but it is one of the things that you have to know can happen. And it happens when you get the medication too close to your eye. Okay. Um, you have uh, um, your orbicularis oculi is the big muscle that goes around your eye. And if you get it into that area too much, then it can cause drooping of your eye. Of course, we don't want that to happen. Um, so. There are some areas, and you can probably see it in me, I have a little wrinkle right here that I can't get because that's way too close to my eye. And so if I were to try to um, medicate that with um, the Botox, I would end up getting a droop, and so I just have to live with that. Isn't that interesting? Because I wondered why you didn't get closer to my eyes uh -huh. last time. Yeah. And um, I, my big issue is the 11s, mm -hmm. which is a lot of women, I'm sure. And you didn't really get too close here, mm -hmm. but I still was frozen there. Yeah. I didn't see my 11s for four straight months, which yeah. was awesome. <laughs> so you're not really supposed to get close. To no, this no, okay. no. What about women who ask about this area? I mean, do they do Botox or is there something else? That no, do? we do Botox around that area and it works really wonderfully. It's just the risk of getting a bruise is a little higher because there are so many little veins in that area, but it goes away within a week. Okay, and you so can cover it up. You can still get makeup. it for the crow's mm -hmm. area. For the crow's feet, yep. Okay, so I'll be back in about 10 years yeah. for that. Okay, some people were asking me about like this area. Um, the nasal labia fold, no, but the marionette lines, you can. There's a um, there's a little muscle that connects from here to here that makes us feel to go this, do this. Okay. And you, you can um, inject there. It's a little harder injection. The muscle is very small. It doesn't hurt anymore or anything, but um, and it works well. Filler works even better though. Oh, okay, so you can get Botox here, mm -hmm. but not here. but not there. No. So what you would use here was like filler, a, like, like a, a Juvederm, Juvederm or okay. a Restylane. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that would what would solve that problem. And mm -hmm. then. Um, some of the girls were asking about cost involved, and I was concerned about that too because I thought, well, I'm going to end up $400 every four months, and mm -hmm. I was surprised to find that it isn't as expensive as I thought. Right. It's by the vial, or how do you do it here? Um, well, it comes in either 50 or 100 um, a cc vial, and the, um, the way we, I do it is per unit, um, and a unit is a tenth of a cc, so it's very small. I'm using, I don't know if you guys can see this. Right, right there. That's ten units. So you use a very small amount, and that's a little tiny needle that's on there. Um, and uh, normal, like forehead, um, nasal, or your glabella, which is what this area is here, where everybody says they're eleven, is about usually ten to twelve units. Um, forehead, depending on how big of a forehead, I always say it's a lot of real estate. So okay. um, it takes a lot more to go around. Um, you, your wrinkles, raise up your forehead for me, Lisa. Raise up your forehead, yeah. Her wrinkles are really right here in the very middle, and so we can um, address those pretty easily. If people have them that go all over here, it can be up to 20 units that you have to use here. And on the side areas, on the, um, the crow's feet, it's usually around um, six to eight units on each side. Um, so because we have to, so that's anywhere between 12 to um, 18 units. So and if you wanted to do here, it's usually three on each side. Okay. It also works on gummy smiles, which is for people who really show their gums. And you put two units here. Those are pretty popular. Shut up. Yeah. I didn't even know that was yeah. a thing. Plus bunny, um, the, that's gummy smile. Then you have bunny lines. And when you smile and your little, your little bunny uh, lines come uh, up, yeah, you can use it. So people you. who have their gums show too much when they smile, they can actually relax that. Mm -hmm. You amazing. find something out new every day. <laughs> yep. Um, so the range is probably, if we were to give it math terms. So I, I charge a, a $11 a unit. And so this would be about a, 10 units, about 110. Uh, another 10 units up here, we're going to be using 20 units on you today. Right. So that'd be $220. Okay. So just to give you an idea. Yeah. And then if, if your forehead was a little bit worse, it could go up. It could go so up. Maybe 300. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then. 
adding in the eyes and the mouth. You're right, you, you get up to 40. Okay. Yeah. okay. Um, 40 is probably about 40 to 45 is about the max that okay. usually anybody uses. Oh, okay. um, the And not, not, not because you can't use more, but that usually is, mm -hmm. it usually fits in. Now there are different um, rewards programs that are um, with each of the companies that make the medication. So um, you and gain points with them and you usually can get 20 to 30, sometimes $40 every time you come back okay. in. And so there is some incentive. They want you back. They want you to use your products. Right. Um, and those are rewards programs that belong to you. They don't belong to me as a provider. They belong to you. So wherever you would go, you'd be able to use them. That's good to know. Mm -hmm. Okay. I need to do that. What about mm -hmm. headaches? Somebody was asking about headaches and is this the same as the cosmetic is the same as um, relieving headaches, but I thought it's used for that. Um, it is the same medication um, where they use anywhere between 100 to, 100 to 200 um, units. Wow. Because they put it all over your head and in your back of your head um, because they're, they're targeting trigger points in the muscles okay. or all over your head. So it is the same, but um, if you do have uh, headaches and uh, migraines and it's a, um, something you get treated for, you would want to go to a pain management person to get that Botox treatment. Number one, your insurance will probably pay for it, and number two, um, it, it would cost over a thousand dollars each time you came in, you know, or more. Wow. So, yeah. So, um, getting a headache after treatment, normal? Sometimes people do, okay. about 24 hours after, um, and it's a very light headache. Um, I'm a headache person, so it. Um, it was it was kind of a light headache and Tylenol took care of it, so it yeah. wasn't bad. I noticed yeah. the same thing. Anything else you should avoid after treatment? Um, right after treatment, 24 hours, we don't want you to um, exercise and um, we do want you to move your muscles afterwards because it helps to spread it out throughout the um, muscles that we're um, injecting. And um, so you don't want to overheat yourself, you don't want to lay down for an hour, and, and but you do want to move your muscles. Okay. Anything else that we should know um, as far as side effects that we should be aware of that if that happened to us, we would want to call back in? Anything else you could think of? Well, sometimes we people have very expressive um, eyebrows and um, when we get this area so it's not moving much, those eyebrows go crazy. So, uh, or, or oh, so go yeah. up a okay. lot. <laughs> and they call it, when the, in the trade is that it's called the Spock eyes. So you okay. get these Spock eyes. Um, we can calm those down and some and I often will say look I, I'm working with you the first time if it's mm -hmm. not right I can 99.9% of the time I can tweak it and make it better. Awesome. So, okay. All right. Okay. We're going to do it. Y'all ready? Um, I wanted to give you guys a couple pieces of information while she's prepping everything. One is I always do a drawing of course every week for those of you who are on. Hey guys put an emoji in like us. Love us, give us some hearts as I'm getting the needles done. <laughs> um, and last week I did a private class, usually that's $30 a person, and the winner was actually Tammy Pulsifer for sharing oh, the video oh, from last Tammy. week. Yep. And I we did Tammy. body types. Oh, you know Tammy. Uh -huh, I did. We did, um, we did body types last week, which was knowing your body type and how to dress for your body types. We talked oh. about the pear, the apple, the rectangle, and the hourglass, so that was really fun. And then this week, Rachel is so generous to give away something from Allure, and I'm really excited because you want to tell them what it is? Yes, yeah, 10 free units of Botox. So somebody yeah. is going to win that, so definitely comment and then share this video. And then also in the comments, I linked in the video from a couple weeks ago with how to look younger in one week, so that those of you who missed it can go back and review that. And I think that that's it. Oh yeah, and next week I'm doing a bronzy glow makeup tutorial for summer. We're gonna use highlighter and we're gonna use bronzer so that you can kind of get a little bit of a feel for how to use those and the right place to use them one more time. So we're gonna turn the camera Great. a little bit and tell me about the needles that you're gonna use. Right? So they're actually insulin needles. So they are very small, um, they're not, not very deep. I'm gonna wipe your forehead off with some, um, some alcohol here. Just to make sure everything is nice and clean. I love the smell of alcohol. <laughs> Some people don't. <laughs> <laughs> it reminds me of giving birth and when I got nauseated they would always hold that, that uh, uh, the alcohol, alcohol underneath, underneath my area. Did you just wipe off my perfect eyebrows right I might have, yeah. yes. But this is more important than perfect no, eyebrows. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry to tell you. Yes indeed. <laughs> I have a big birthday party coming up this week, ah. so I want my face to be frozen for that. All right. Okay. So I want you to make a mat or make your 11s. 
Make your 11s. Yeah. Okay. So what I'm going to do is inject the bigger muscles. So I'm going to go right in here and just put a little here. And then I'm going to go right here. You doing all right? Mm -hmm. And a little here. And make it again for me. Make your mat. Yeah. Good. You still have a lot here. You mean a lot of wrinkles? No, a lot uh, of medication here because you're not able to do that much. Good. So some, sometimes you have a little bit of just spotty bleeding and then you'll also have these little round kind of um, puffy areas and that's totally normal. Yeah. Totally normal. I noticed that last time until like the next day. I was, yeah. And it wasn't fine. It went away. Um, now I want you to lift your, eye, your brows up. Okay, now relax. Now here, this what I'm putting over here is trying to make sure that you do not get those spot eyes. Do it again for me. Excellent. Now relax. And here I'm just giving a very small amount of Botox in those the little muscles that come up here and helping those to relax just a little bit so we don't have that crazy thing. <laughs> and now we're going to go on your forehead, lift up, and relax. No, it doesn't. Now, you might hear and feel a crunch. Do you feel that? Mm -hmm. um, that's just the needle going through the little fascia, which is totally normal. Um, these little uh, bumpy things, they will last for about um, 20 minutes and sometimes less. No, it, I mean, the needle's so small and I don't like needles, but we'll poke here. you really, it is just so slight. I'd we'll rather... Here. And I can use some, um, like a in. topical numbing thing or something. You can, yeah. For people okay. who are wussies. Yeah. Extra sensitive. And one more right here. Good. So you can see there is an incredibly minimal amount of bleeding. Um, and, and it's fast. Rachel works very efficiently. Yeah, I try to go quick because nobody likes to get <laughs> Now we're going to put a little arnica on there. This is an anti-bruising medication. It's a homeopathic. Um, helps with bruising and a little bit of pain. And we just kind of smear it over. Rub it in a little. I don't know who doesn't like a forehead rub, right? Oh, it feels so good. <laughs> I had my brows waxed this morning and Amber always massages my hair. Ah, uh, nice. So good. All right. All done. So that's it girls, easy and painless. Um, you can see, let me get close so you can see. Right now you can see the little bumps, but that is gonna go right down in about an hour. You're not gonna see that. And like she said, sometimes I get a little bit of a headache for like an hour and then I take some Tylenol and I'm fine there. But um, last time she said it would take about seven days to be fully effective. I could tell within just a few days. So by the weekend, I won't be able to <laughs> do that anymore. I love it. But I've also become obsessed with looking at other people's foreheads now, Rachel. Yes. It's very easy to do. It's like, like you get on TV and you're like, ooh, ooh she needs a big Yeah, exactly. So we're so glad that you joined us today. I'm going to have Rachel um, take part in helping me to answer some of the questions throughout the day on Facebook because they usually have lots okay. of questions that sure. are follow up after and things that I maybe forgot. And then don't forget to let us know that you're here and share the video for a chance to win the 10 units. Yeah. Um, and then you can come in and get your Botox. Don't be nervous, girls. Um, hopefully this helped you to see that it's not as expensive as you think. It's not as painful as you think. It's not as often as you think. So um, enjoyed it very much. Thanks so much for joining us this Makeup Tip Monday, and we'll see you next Monday at noon. All right, Thank bye -bye. you. Bye-bye.